Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and I'm super excited to bring you a new free pattern sew along. Today um, we are working on the Harper cardigan, which is one, I'm wearing one of the options uh, today. It is fall right now over here and I don't know if where you are it's like where I am, but it is cold in the morning, warm in the middle of the day, cold again at night, and a cardigan is just the perfect accessory to have to just throw on as you're walking out the door because then you can shed it and then you can put it back on or whatever you want to do or lay it over a sweater or something like that so I love this pattern um, I am wearing the duster option this is the full length duster option that has a vent um, option at the bottom and is hemmed um, but I am going to be making the thigh length option today that has a band around the bottom um, this cardigan has four length options this is the duster option I'm going to be making the one that comes Comes to the thigh then he has one that comes to the hip and then one that goes cropped um, so it's got the different lengths depending on what you want to go for it also has an option for patch pockets in the front and I won't be doing that because I don't know I think the patch pockets look better on the shorter version for me so when I do a little bit of a longer version I don't want a pocket just hanging there um, and I don't really use patch pockets that much because I don't like things kind of bulging out all preference that's just my preference uh, but I'm super excited about it this pattern is made for knits I'm going to be using this uh, sweater knit from August closet another stripe sweat another stripe cardigan because I'm obsessed with stripes anyway I actually was looking at my closet the other day and I realized how many stripes I have and I still want more <laughs> so anyway I'm going to be sewing this one it's super quick I'm going to be using my serger because it is a knit pattern and I just like using my serger um, but you can do a stretch stitch on your sewing machine and it will work just fine or you can use a stretch thread on your sewing machine and it would also use uh, work fine um, there is a uh, stretch thread that I like to use it's Elo Flex by Coates and Clark and you can find it um, at any kind of uh, fabric store usually or online um, I think that's it. I already printed my pattern. I'm using a PDF format of this pattern uh, below on the uh, information box. I'm going to attach the link. So if you want to go to the link, download it. All the instructions on how to print are on there. It's super easy. I use Acrobat Reader uh, on one of my last sew alongs, um, the one that I did a couple of days ago, uh, uh, last week actually. Um, it shows you how you can print um, the, a pattern. And it is for a different pattern company, but they're all about the same. You download onto your uh, PDF and you find the um, uh, layers program if you want to find layers and then you print it's super easy so check out that other video um, if you want to um, be able to print it out easier um, I think that's it let's get started I'm gonna cut my fabric and we're gonna get sewing I have already my pattern cut out and I like to place my patterns into like these little envelopes I write their name and the pattern company and I stick them in here fold it up I have my size printed and then I go ahead and look and see what I'm going to use. I need my my cuff. Oh no, this is a three quarter sleeve cuff if you're doing three quarter. I'm doing long sleeve so I'm going to put that one aside. Here's uh, the bottom band for the cropped cardigan. I am not doing the cropped cardigan. I'm doing the longer cardigan. Here is the pocket. I'm not doing the pocket so I'm going to put that away. Short sleeve band, not doing the short sleeve. Here's the actual cardigan pattern assuming the front and the back and then here's the bottom band classic long cardigan that's what I'm doing um, here is the front waistband old version so I'm doing using that um, this must be my cuff long sleeve cuff and this must be my sleeve so this is my sleeve so then I can put away all the other ones to wait for me for later if I don't put them away now I'm not very organized they might end up on the ground and then later on I don't know where they are when I'm trying to make a different version. So now that I've got it all out, I'm going to go ahead and cut them. I'm going to use um, my Pink Power scissors, cordlet scissors. I actually really like these. Um, I haven't done a review on them yet on here because I wanted to use them a whole lot before I um, actually give a full review, but so far so good. Um, I also use a DIY style cutting mat. I know that I get this... Um, 
question a lot. A lot of link below. Um, I love this product. I know I put a sticker and it's all faded here, but anyway, um, I love this product. Um, I've had it for a lot for years, and you can buy magnets to go along. This is a magnetized uh, cutting mat, so you can you know magnetize your fabric to the to the mat, and then that way um, it doesn't move on you when you're trying to. So those are questions I get asked often, so I wanted to go ahead and point them out. I'll also add a link to Olga's Closet, which is where I get most of my fabric, my knit fabric. Um, I love their shop and their customer service is, customer service is amazing. All right, so cut here for long cardigan because I had a long length over here um, for the longer duster length. So this is where my long cardigan is and I'm just going to fold there so I don't have to actually cut the, the pattern piece. I'm just going to fold it. And then we're cutting on the fold. That means that this place right here where it says fold is going to go against the folded area of my fabric which means I can actually fold it in more and save a little bit of fabric. Next, I am doing the front. Now, if you want to make sure that your lines really match up, you may want to grab your back piece and place it right on top. This is my arm side right here. Place it right where your arm side is and match up the lines. Make sure the lines are matching. See, mine are pretty much matching um, because I went all the way to the top, so they're already pretty much matching. But if you do it this way, then you can cut it and make sure that they're all matching. This doesn't really even mean that they are definitely going to match because sometimes I forget to try and then when I'm sewing it, they kind of get a little bit moved over. Um, but if you're very particular about that, you can go ahead and baste your sides, do a very long straight stitch on the sides first. Sew it together, make sure it meets up and it looks good, and then sew it on your zigzag stitch or whatever stretch stitch you're doing or your serger, and then just pull your basting stitch out. Your basting stitch should come right out, but it helps to keep them in line so when you're sewing, it doesn't shift on you. Um, there is some markings on the pattern that you can cut out um, to show you like the front and to show you where the sides go together and stuff like that. I don't cut those anymore, but if you struggle with matching up patterns, you may want to um, cut those. And the way I do that is when I'm going cutting the fabric, I come out and make like a little notch and then keep going. Uh, but I'm not doing that right now. Uh, now this is cut two mirrored, which means you're going to cut two exact pieces that are mirrored. So we're just placing it on the, the fabric that is folded and then we're going to cut all the way around the whole thing. One of the reasons why it's good sometimes to mark that little notch here is because the front and the arm side look similar. You don't want to attach your sleeve to the front. You want to attach it to the arm side, which is the rounded area. Next is the sleeve and the sleeve does have a marking for front and back. So I will mark those and then the, the center points. So I will mark that as well because I want to know which side goes to the front, which side goes to which side goes to the back, which side goes to the front and which where the middle is. So I will make those marks. And then it also has a different sleeve lengths. You see the little notch right there and the little notch right there. That's what I was referring to. And then last but not least, I'll cut my bands and I'll be done. I forgot to do my little mark, so I'm just gonna place um, a clip right here to mark it. Now that we are done cutting, we can go ahead and get started sewing. Um, I've got my back piece and I've got my uh, shoulder seams right here. So I'm going to grab my front pieces and place them right on top at the shoulder seams. Now remember, the arm sides need to be matching together. Those are the arm sides, the ones that go around. The front goes straight down and you're going to match those shoulder seams. 
Now, um, the pattern recommends, if you're using a very heavy weight fabric, you may wanna put right here some either clear elastic or some interfacing so that there's no like pulling of the fabric. If it pulls it down, it'll stretch out the seam. But this fabric is actually not super heavy, so I think it's gonna be fine to just uh, not, to not add the, the clear elastic, so I'm not adding that. So let's go ahead and sew. Again, you'll need a stretch stitch. So either a zigzag stitch, a lightning bolt stitch, um, some stretch fabric, triple stitch, or a serger to sew these edges. I'm going to be using my serger. All right, now that my shoulder seam has been sewn together, I'm gonna go right here and open up that arm side. This is my arm side, it's rounded. The other one, the, the back is kind of rounded too, but the front is straight. So the this is not the arm side. The arm side is completely like a half moon right here. We're gonna grab our sleeves. And first thing we need to figure out is, remember I made that notch to the front so here's the front notch right here. Um, so make sure that that front notch is facing the front area. So then that middle notch goes right here where the uh, shoulder is. And then we're placing them right sides together all the way down along that raw edge. And we're gonna do the same on the other side, on the other side. All right, let's go sew those on. All right, now that our sleeves are on, we're gonna basically close out the sides and turn this into an actual cardigan. Now, if you wanted to, honestly, you could, if you're like, oh, I don't know that I wanna deal with bands, I want this to be a quick sew, you could just leave it raw, which, you know, some people like that, some people don't, or you could just really just hem up. Now, the sleeve might be a little short because it's meant to have a, cuff but the bottom should be fine because it's a little bit long but you could always lengthen the sleeve and then just hem it instead of adding a cuff if that's what you wanted to do see here I'm trying to match up these lines these are my sides and I make sure that they're even that way when I sew it together I can sort of attempt to color to stripe match so we're this is the side and then all the way down the sleeve as well and we're gonna do that on both sides. And then the same on the other side. Fold it right sides together, start at the armpit, and go all the way down. I'm gonna put that aside and I'm going to do prep the cuffs and the waistband. So the cuffs are gonna get folded wrong sides together at the that one side edge. So they'll be prepped to sew um, on the next step. All right, so the bottom band is ready for when we're gonna go sew it on. When we sew it on, we'll fold it wrong sides together. So let me put that aside. And then the front bands, so you cut two. The first thing you're going to do is match one side of them together uh, to create one long band. Let's see, I'm trying to make make sure that they, hmm, I cut them the wrong way. Oh well, okay. So you're just gonna match them up. I cut them the wrong way because I cut them like this so that they would match up the coloring, not realizing that when I, uh, because they face each other, um, the stripes are not gonna match, but that's okay. Cause will they match if I put this one on? No, they're both the same. No matter how I do it, it's not gonna match. Oh well, okay, so you're gonna sew them together and then at the ends, each end, we're gonna fold them right sides together and sew closed this side. So it's finished when we, turned it, when we turn it right side out. So there's one side and then do the same on the other side. And now we've got this front band prepped to attach all the bands after we sew um, the sides together and that will be it. Alrighty, so we've got our band, front band, we got our cuffs, we got our cardigan basically done. You can see right here, I'm super excited about it. It's super comfy and super cute. Can't wait. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and put the sleeves, the cuffs on first. So here's my sleeve, here's my cuff. I'm gonna fold my cuff wrong sides together and match up that side seam. And then we can um, find the half by going from the side seam to the other side. And then we're gonna fit that right in to our sleeve. As you can see, here's the other side, here's the side seam. So we'll attach the side seam over here, match those up, and then match the other side. And then we'll just um, stretch the cuff to fit. So we'll just, when we're sewing it, we'll just stretch it so they all fit really nicely around the whole thing. And we're gonna do the same for the other side. Now the front band, I'm going to match up the shoulder seams and find the back center. And then I'm going to grab my uh, band. As you can see right here is where I sewed up. I'm gonna turn it around and now I've got this straight area here. But, and then I'm gonna do the same on the other side, but actually we got to attach the bottom band first before we attach the front band because the front band will come here's the bottom band the front band will come right in front of it so let's do the bottom band first actually i'm going to lay out my bottom i'm going to match up the two bottom sides and find the middle of the cardigan back i'm going to lay it out right here on my table we'll have to go sew these on and then we'll come back to sew the um the neck band last. And as you can see right here, if you match up, actually, I guess I didn't have to match up the center because these are my, um, my, uh, sides right here where I marked, I marked them on my, uh, I pinned them that were on my pattern piece. I put the clip on there. Those are my seams. So then you're just matching them wrong sides together, folded down the middle. We're coming all the way to the front here. What I like to do is I'm going to in here and then I'm going to put a couple of clips right here on this side. So then when I'm sewing, this doesn't move. And you, so it's nice and flushed here at the, at the end. You can, if you want to do a straight stitch here, a basting stitch to kind of hold it down, but I don't think it's necessary, not necessary for me. But if you want to right here where the clips are, you can go to the other clips and fold in half and know that that's my half right there. So that should match up with that half right here and then match those to the seam right here. And then all the way to the edge again. And like I said, I'm gonna clip right here at the outer edge to make sure that this fabric doesn't move when I'm sewing because I'll remove this clip, but these don't need to be removed because this is not gonna get sewn here. It's just gonna get sewn straight, but keeping this clips here makes this help this not move then we'll take this clips off and fold this down and then we'll put the band on top of it I like to start here at the seam make sure all your pieces are together and then we're gonna sew I started off a little bit and then I go to that middle piece and stretch out and make sure that they're all even and so get to the middle, remove that clip and go to all the way to the end. And now that bottom band, like I said, you don't have to remove those clips. So it makes it easier for the beginning so that the fabric doesn't come off. Make sure they're all lined up so you don't miss any fabric. All right, so now we've got, we can remove those pins of the sides of the bottom band. And as you can see, the bottom of the band, it looks a little wavy. Also, um, the seam is coming this way. We want it to go towards the bottom. It really is up to you, whichever way you want it to go. It doesn't really matter. But what I was gonna say is the steaming is what's going to help with that waviness. Actually, I'm just gonna let it do whatever it wants. I'm gonna pull it towards the bottom, but See how once you give that steam, that waviness is going away? It's just the fabric might get a little bit stretched out when you're sewing it. So giving it the steam helps the fibers kind of tighten back up. 
So before you're like so hard on yourself, it's, oh, I messed this up. It doesn't look good. The way this, the seams are all wavy and ugly. Give it a steam. Take a breath and give it a good steam and it looks so much better. And now we're gonna go ahead and put on the front band and we'll be done. All right, so I had that front marked here. I'm gonna grab my front neck band. It's already unfolded. Um, here's my middle part right here where I sew them together. And I'm going to attach that right sides together here to the neck. I, I'm so annoyed I didn't follow through, uh, did the good job cutting because now it's going to be different on both sides. It's okay. Don't be too hard on yourself. Okay, so here we're to the mark of the cardigan. You're going to stretch lightly that top of the neckband to attach. And then the rest of the way, hold on, let me bring this front part over. This is the front of the cardigan. Move the, it's like, here I am opening the cardigan. This is the side seam. This is my sleeve here. This is my front area. All the way down. Here's my neck band. So your neck band should make sure it's not all tangled up. It should come all the way down to where your bottom band is and match it up right here first. I'm gonna put that clip here at the bottom again like I did on the other side. And then I'm gonna start matching it up. Right sides together. You shouldn't be having to stretch this part out at all. It's just gonna lay nice and flat. You only stretch out the top part. You already did stretch out a little bit, just a little bit. And you're gonna go all the way up along the outer edge of your cardigan. Making sure that they're all even, all three. The two pieces, the two raw edges of the cardigan band and then the front of the cardigan. You want it all even. All right, then now we're gonna move this over the sleeve. This is the back of the cardigan. Here's the other side of the cardigan. Here's the other sleeve. There it is, here's the top. So you're going to stretch it out a little bit till that mark, literally just a tiny bit, not really a whole lot. You're not like pulling it tight. You want it to tighten a little bit at the neck, but that's about it, not a whole lot. We're here to our bottom. Make sure your band is not doesn't get twisted. Match up this band right here at the bottom together. Like I said, I like to clip here on the outer edge so it doesn't move when I'm sewing it. And then I'm sewing this part right here. We don't sew this bottom part, just the side, but I just, just the front, but I just like to clip it down so it doesn't move on me when I'm sewing it. Now we're gonna go sew that up and we're done with our cardigan. All right. I'm gonna lift that foot so I can clamp it down and it's so straight. And then go sew all the way around. Now we've removed those pins and clips and the only thing we have to do is tuck in this tail. I like to kind of tuck it back in and do a zigzag stitch over it on my sewing machine so that it's tucked in and you can't even see it. If you're top stitching, you can put it down when you're top stitching and our band is done. Do the same on the other side. Undo those, grab that uh, uh, serger tail, tuck it in, and then we're done. So now I'm gonna go try it on and show what you look show you what it looks like. Alrighty friends, we are finished with our Harper cardigan. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I love how it turned out. I think it turned out super cute. I love this. I think I'm gonna be wearing it all the time and I'm not even mad about it. Um, I love the sleeves. I love how comfy this fabric is. I just love everything about it. This was, again, the long version. The one I was wearing at the beginning of the video was the duster version. Then they have one that's like uh, like a waist and then one that goes all like cropped higher. Um, so go ahead and grab the pattern. Let me know below if you're gonna be sewing this with me. Wooly likes it as well. 
he thinks it's super cute. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember to subscribe so you never miss any of our uh, free sew along videos. And come find me on Instagram at Eloise.esra where I share a lot of behind the scenes and you get first look at a lot of things. And you get to see a lot more of Bo in, on there too. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.